great time tonight, Mr. Field. How's the dog, my dear? Please, prefer to be a Chester. Mr. Field is very informed. Yes, of course. Chester. Oh, gosh, that champagne has made me a little slow. I forgot we aren't around the office. Yes, the Dom Perignon was rather exquisite. And how was your dog? It was delish. It looked like you were enjoying your steak, too. Yes, I simply adore the way they sear the outside but keep the interior so juicy. <laughs> My daddy always said, a man who doesn't enjoy steak isn't a real man. <laughs> yes, it is the tastiest red meat. <laughs> See that cluster of stars up there? Yes, I love stars. They're so pretty. They make up the form of Orion, a mighty warrior. You see? Hmm. Kinda. See those three stars in the middle? They make out his belt. Oh yes, Orion's belt. I've heard of that before. Precisely, my dear. Those stars are on my company's emblem. They represent a never-ending search for extraordinary quality men's suits. And we do make some of the finest belts around. Yes, that emblem is the background on my computer screen at my work desk. And we do make amazing belts. <laughs> I'm wearing one of our finest models right now. Good thing they come off easy. How about that drink I promised you? Please, come in. Yes, of course. Ah, yes, but it merely looks like a log cabin when you're beauty red age, isn't it? Chester, you really know how to make a girl blush. Please take a seat. I'll fetch you something to drink. Would you prefer wine or coffee? Coffee, please. <laughs> if I had any more alcohol, I would be simply pickled. But don't you have servants to fetch something like that for you? No. Whenever I have a date, I always send them home for little drops. I could have sworn I told you that when I asked you out at the office. <laughs> yes, silly me. I think you did. I'll be right back, my sweet. Hi, Dad. Yeah, it's just the two of us in his house. No. There's no cameras. He isn't a pervert. All right, I'll see you later. Who are you talking to, dear? Oh, just my dad. He worries about me. Oh, do you still live with your father? Yes. I never really had a serious job before I started working at Fields & Co. So I'm just living at home until I have enough money to support myself. I'll probably move up once I can afford an apartment. You know, if tonight goes well, you may never have to work another day of your life. Chester, behave. How about that tour? It would be my pleasure, darling. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, Chester, your kitchen is a Ah, yes, everything is plated with 100% stainless steel. When it's freshly clean, it's sparkle, almost as magnificently as your eyes. Chester, I barely have any blood left in me. Ah, you should see what my chef can do in here. I eat like a king every night. I'll have to sample some of his cooking someday. Oh, but you must, and believe me, you'll be anything but as pleased. So, where do you eat these delicious meals? Ah, that's the next stop on the tour. This is the grand dining room. I've served everyone from Paul McCartney to Hugh Hefner in this Victorian masterpiece of a room. This African mahogany table seats 30. Wow. I never knew you had such a prestigious guest list. But of course. They all love Field & Co.'s top quality suits. <laughs> well, who wouldn't? I see how much you pay those tailors and designers. Ha! Yeah. I suppose I spoiled them. Look up. And gaze your eyes upon my chandelier. Wow. I've never seen anything so extravagant. The thing cost a fortune. Thousands of sparkling crystals really light up this room. I'd say this room looks like something at a Buckingham Palace. Thank you. 
That's what I was going for. <laughs>